Amen. So, had to have the last word, huh? Have a seat, hot shot. Okay. What's up? I'm worried about you. Why? I mean, I, look, I'm gonna get a sponsor, I'm gonna go to meetings, I'm gonna work the steps. I got it. I'm good. I got it. No, I don't think you do. In fact, you don't even have a clue. <laughs> Why would you say that? I don't understand. I know, and that's the problem. Can I be brutally honest here? Yeah, but listen, you know, my wife's waiting, so I'm gonna need the short version. We're talking life and death here, pal. For the past 30 days, I've watched you skate through treatment. Half-assed. Man, I am good. I Honestly, I feel great. I'm done drinking, I'm good. I clear blue skies as far as the eye can see. What more do you want? <laughs> Have you ever heard of the YETS? No. Stands for You're Eligible To. Have you been in jail, Bo? You know that I have, George. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, get another DWI and you're going to prison. Cause an accident and hurt someone and you're going for a long, long time. Yeah, my lawyer mentioned that. Here's the good news. I'm not going to get another DWI. Okay? There's no way. Bo. You know who's the most trouble working the 12 steps? Who's that, George? Really smart people. Mm -hmm. That's why I know you can get this deal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I'm not feeling the love, George. Uh, what do you want from me? What do you want me to do? I want you to move into a sober house. Give yourself a real shot. Look, I, uh, that's just not gonna happen. I'm good, okay? Look, I'm done drinking forever. This 30 days changed everything. I'm done. See, that's the kind of thinking that got you here. You need a sober living environment. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a wife and kids. That's what I, I need to get home. Does your wife drink? I mean, that's a yes. Does she drink often? Sometimes. No, oh, you're a puppy. And your addiction is the biggest, baddest dog on the block. Give yourself a fighting chance. You know, George, I can see what you're doing right now. And I appreciate it. I appreciate you. But I just need to get home, man. I just want to sleep in my own bed. I'm sorry. I already know you're sorry. I was hoping for something more. No. Okay. You're in God's hands now. Yeah, those are good hands. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be praying for you. And I appreciate that. Listen, man, thank you for everything. Honestly. Thank you very much, George. Take care, bro. I will. You too. Oh, hey. I saw that car of yours. No way that can fly. You need a new one. You come see me. Just get out of here, you knucklehead. Hey, thank, thank you, George. Thank you. Knuckleheads are the toughest part of my job. You think after 30 days of sobriety, They'd get smarter, but no. <laughs> yeah. All you can do is pray and turn them over to God. Andy. Hey, 
honey, it's me. Guess who's free? <laughs> I'm uh, standing in the parking lot like an idiot, so if you're not like a minute away, give me a call. Okay. Bo Murphy! Yeah. You've been served. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, 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 hey. By who? Your wife's lawyer. Which one? Read the papers. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, candy. Why would you do this to me? Come on, candy. What are you doing? I just got these papers. Are you out of your mind? You're gonna leave me just when I need you the most? Look, honey, I'm sorry. Look, I, I don't know why you would do this. You know I love you, okay? I love you and I need you. I'm standing here alone in the parking lot, honey. Please, call me back. That dude is pissed. Yeah, that dude is pissed. <laughs> you can be perfect. That's right. That's right. Back so soon? Yeah. Is that the company motto? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. What's up? Do you know a good divorce lawyer? Maybe you know something about this. You know about this? Should I? Yeah. What are they? Divorce papers. I step outside, I get given these. And what do we got? Let's see, greatest hits. Oh yeah, custody, great. Straining order. Oh yeah, of course she wants money. Money. Bummer. Did you say bummer to me? Bummer? I'm gonna tell you about this, you're gonna say bummer? Bet you could use a drink right yeah, now. I'm right, I could use a drink right now. What are you smiling about? We is this funny to you? We talked about this, Bo. We, what do we talk about? Sobriety is being able to live life on life's terms. Don't you see your powerlessness here? Yeah, I admit I'm powerless over alcohol. I got that. What does it have to do with this? You're not just powerless over alcohol. You're powerless over just about everything. I don't even know what you're talking about right now, George, and it's pissing me off even more. I'm going to be brutally honest about why you are where you are right now. Okay. Huh? Can yeah, you handle yeah, the yeah. Bring it on, man. Tell me. Money? Yeah, tell me. Your drinking is just a symptom of your disease. What are you talking about? It's a symptom of my disease. I just spent 30 days in this place being told that drinking's my problem. I leave, I come back one minute later, now it's a symptom? Then what's my problem? You! Oh, Jesus. You and your thinking. You and your character defects. Pride, ego, and uh. self-will, which has brought you to exactly the place you're supposed to be. Where? To me, another alcoholic. Okay. Who's the only one who can show you the power that can truly save you. What power? Uh -huh. The one who has all power. Oh my God. That one is God, and may you find him now. Jesus Christ, man. If I had <laughs> anything left in me, man, right now, I would scream. Now we're getting somewhere. Where? A safe and sober living environment. And I know just the place. Fabulous. A whole month, all they have is fried food, junk. I don't want to just, that's it. <laughs> I mean, they say it's about getting well. I feel worse than when I went in. It'll feel good once you get here and get acclimated. So right. Hey, it's a castle. It's your castle. Grab your bag. Yeah. 
Angel! Where are you? I'm out back, George. Give me a minute. Man, you serious at this place? What else you got, Bo? Red! <laughs> oh, this place is really coming together. Yeah, it will be when I'm done with it. Yeah. Just... Hey, how you doing? I'm Bo. He's the one I told you about, remember? Mm. Last thing I heard, he wasn't coming. Yeah, well, slight change of plans on that. His wife decided to extend her vacation. I don't have a good feeling about this, George. Come on, Angel. He's as sick as they come. How strange. Hmm. Runs 140 a week, two weeks in advance. Is that a problem? No. You ever do any electrical or plumbing work? No. Hang any drywall, painting? <laughs> no, not in this century, no. He's a car salesman. <sighs> oh, that's just great. An incarnate of my ex-husband's swell. Come on, Angel. He's uh, here, needs a place to live. He's got cash. Yeah. Are you willing to go to any length to stay sober? Absolutely. How open-minded are you? Well, the small animals are gonna get injured, I'm pretty open-minded. <laughs> oh, smart ass, just like my ex-husband. I don't know about this, George. Please. He'll pay a month in advance. Right, Bo? Yeah, yeah. Cash, no refunds. Whatever. They'll play the lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's funny, guys. I thought that uh, sobriety didn't come with a price tag, but <laughs> that's, uh, there we go. <laughs> sure, um, I'll be right back with your receipt and a list of chores and house rules. Did you say chores, George? Did that lady just say chores to me, George? What is this place, man? It's a safe and sober living environment. Exactly what you need right now. Well, let me ask you this. What happened to her ex-husband? <laughs> Funny you should ask. Why is that? Because, uh, didn't want to give you nightmares. What was it? What? What? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what I know. Okay, yeah. So, story is, before Angel got sober, she was married to a mean drunk named Earl who used to beat the crap out of her. Yeah. One day, Angel came to AA for help. She's been sober ever since. And whatever happened to Earl? Disappeared. Never to be heard from again. What, 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 what about the cops? What about... You know? They asked Angel some questions, and she said he split town. And as the song goes, Earl was a missing person that nobody missed at all. <laughs> that's, that's terrific, George. Very good. You're in the right place now, huh? Don't worry. Now, you get your ass to the noon meeting, and I'll see you at 5.30 tonight. There's someone I want you to meet, right? Huh? Okay, listen, about that, I have to get to the dealership. I have to get back to work. How willing are you? Oh, I am very willing. I am the most willing. I can't wait to get to that meeting. See? Be There's good. hope for it. Yeah, we'll see, George. <laughs> we'll see. Well, listen, thanks. Mm. Beautiful. It's good to see you, man. Hey. What are you doing here, Bo? I got the owners in my office. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm out. I'm back. I'm ready to work. Didn't you get our letter? I haven't been home. That's... What's going on, Don? We had to fire you, Bo. I'm sorry. I can't believe that. You remember that DWI you got up at the lake a couple of years ago? Yeah, that was a boat. Were you driving the boat, Bo? 
Did you get arrested? I mean, barely. It was a company trip. It was me, Charlie, Tommy was there. Yeah, yeah, it was right after Judy divorced me, I remember. Did you get arrested? We all got arrested. Well, if you're convicted on this DWI, that's, that's two in seven years. And that's a felony. I can't have a felon working here. Yeah, well, listen, man, that's why your door says general manager. We'll just sweep that under the rug. Yeah, and what it doesn't say on the door is owner, okay? This is completely out of my hands. You gotta be kidding me, man. So that's it? I'm fired. I wish you the best. You know how much money I brought in for this place? You were a damn good salesman. Yeah. One of my best. One yeah. of the best I have. Millions. Millions. I'm selling more than you. All these sales associates you got coming in and out the door. Well, I've been working here straight for a decade. All this new training program with the salespeople, selling more than all of them. But you all get to stay, and I gotta go. It's a corporate policy, Bo. Uh, and here's some corporate. No, that's nice. Here's a little more corporate. No, wonderful. You know what? That's cool, man. That's fine. I'll still be selling cars. I'll just be doing it across the street for the competition. How's that sound? Good luck, dude. You think he's pissed now? What if he finds out I've been seeing his wife? I'm Rick. Still addict. Alcoholic. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey. It's time to open up the meeting to Burning Desires. I'm Angel and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Angel. Hi, Angel. Hi, Angel. You know what really burns my ass? Really burns my ass? Is the people that aren't willing to accept the gift of AA. People that don't respect the 12 steps. People that aren't, you know, even willing to try. And that just really pisses me off because I don't know why. When I came here, I was willing to go to any length, any length, and my sponsor pounded into me over and over and over that if anyone anywhere needed help, the hand of AA was there to help them. That's all I have. Thanks, Angel. Thanks, Angel. Thanks, Angel. Thanks, Angel. My name is Jada. Uh, hey, Jada. Hey, Jada. Hey, Jada. Hey, Jada. And I have a desire not to drink today. I haven't had a drink in 90 days and I feel great. <laughs> um, I've completed my court order time and so I'm gonna go live my life. I'll remember and um, use all the knowledge that I've learned here today and in general, um, but I live out there. That's all I have, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Hi, I'm Bob, real alcoholic. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Our literature states that if you are truly alcoholic, you are 100% hopeless, apart from divine help. 12-step recovery, it only points in one direction, to God. The program of recovery can be condensed into two simple words, God and action. Without God, you have having a prayer. And willingness without action is pure fiction. My experience in a 12-step recovery is the closer you are to God, the further you are from a drink. Bob. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Always on point and on topic. Well, we still got a minute left. Any newcomers want to share? Uh, my name is Bo and I'm an alcoholic. Hey, Bo. Hey, Bo. Hey, Bo. Hey, Bo. I, uh, Got out of treatment today, and um, ever since that, it's been like one long punch in the face. I uh, I left treatment, and I was supposed to be picked up by my wife, but instead, I was greeted by some idiot with divorce papers. And then I go to work, the car dealership where I've worked for over a decade, and guess what they tell me? Sorry, sir, we have to wrap up. Okay, right, just hold on a second. They tell me I'm fired, how about that? So now I'm homeless, I don't have a job. That's not even the worst part, the worst part is all right here. 
My mind, yeah, I hear you, thank you. Can I finish what I'm saying? My head feels like there's a giant tree in the Amazon with a million monkeys in it. And they're all jumping around doing a million different things at the same time. You get the idea. I hear you, thank you, keep your shirt on. We need to close. Okay, let me just get to the best part real quick. Tonight, instead of going home to sleep with my family in my comfortable bed, I'm gonna end up in some dump sober living house with a bunch of burnouts I don't even know. And my burning desire is, all I want is a drink. Keep coming back. Okay, let's close. Whoa, 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 let's close? What are you talking about, close? I just bare my soul to you people and now you're gonna close the meeting? Are you kidding me? I need some help. Stick around after the meeting. What happens after the meeting? Someone will come talk to you. Who? Someone. No, no, no. I don't think we should close this meeting until someone here gives me some answers. Right, George, you wanna help me out? We'll talk after the meeting. No, we're not gonna talk after the meeting. Everybody's here, you guys have the answers, right? Well, I need some help. I've had the worst fucking day of my life today. Do you understand that? I lost my job. I'm gonna be bankrupt within a month. I'm gonna be homeless. What if I get cancer? Look. I came here for help, and I need help. No? Okay. So this is AA, huh? Great. You know what? I'm done. Thanks. Thanks, Bo. Well, okay, everybody. It's time we closed up in the usual fashion. Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Now I know what you're thinking. I went way, way off the deep end. And uh, it's going to be a million to one shot for me to get sober. Honestly, I'm probably going to need a miracle. But everyone loves an underdog, right? That was a giant waste of time. I thought you said these meetings were gonna help. Oh, easy does it, Bo. Trust me, it gets better. You calling my house a dump slick? No. I it just... is a sober house, you ungrateful Angel, give the kid a break, huh? Yeah, yeah, we'll just see what happens with the rent slate, okay, Sherlock? Huh. Serious with this chick? I gotta deal with this? I haven't had a drink all day today. This is what I gotta deal with. Oh, Whoop-de-doo. <laughs> Come on, I want you to meet Bob. Uh, oh, shut Listen to the man. Okay. Hey, man. Oh. Yeah, Bo, nice to meet you, man. Just got on treatment, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a topic of interest, I guess. Yeah, you know, your predicament, it's in the big book. I think it's called Bo's story. Really? No, you moron. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our literature says, Job or no job, wife or no wife, we simply do not stop drinking so long as we place dependence on other people ahead of dependence on God. Yeah, it sounds like me, man. Yeah, I bet you really love a drink right now. Oh, I would love a drink right now, man. Yeah, well, that's your business. But if you want to stop, I know God will help you. Hey, why do I keep hearing about God? I, I, I just want to stop drinking. What does it have to do with drinking? If you want to stop, it's got everything to do with it. Let me ask you, who is God to you? There's an easy question. Uh, I don't know. God is, you know, I, I call upon God when I get in trouble. You know, like, keep me out of jail or whatever. Great. So, totally clueless. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. All right, well, you can only go up from there. Look, here's my card. Thank you. you call me. Okay. And this is the important part. Before you drink. Okay. You'll be here tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'll be here. Terrific. Just remember... The road to sobriety is a simple journey for confused people with a complicated disease. <laughs> you know, man, I, since I've been here, it sounds like everybody's talking Chinese. I have no idea what you're saying. I, I don't, I'm confused. That's why you have a sponsor now. You're my sponsor? I mean, do you see a line form behind me that I don't see? No, I don't. I guess I'm in. Okay, great, good, okay, good, good. This is good, listen. I gotta get things back on track here, you know, just 
tell me what to do so I can get my wife, my job, get my life back. Get a new job. Leave your wife alone. And tonight, before you go to bed, you drop down on your knees and you thank God for another day sober. Yeah, but, I mean, but. No buts, look. Do you like being a crash test dummy, is that it? Yeah, you know, I heard you say that in the meeting, but I have no idea what that means. Let me try something else with you. Do, do you know the definition of insanity? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's like doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results, I yeah. Exactly. Look, okay. alcoholics, we're like all insane crash test dummies. Okay. Yeah, I, I heard you say that before in the meeting, but I, I don't understand it. I have no idea what that means. I know. But what do I do? Do whatever you want. Whatever I want. <laughs> what I want is I want to go to the bar and have a drink. Hey, then go have a drink. Wait, what are you talking about? Go have a drink. Come back when you're done. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, hey. What are you talking about? I need, Look, I, I you, keep to... doing what you, you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've always gotten. Right. Anything else? Yeah. Um, do you think you could give me a ride back to my sober living? <laughs> <laughs> a car salesman without a car. Yeah, it's pretty Priceless. great. Priceless. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on, let me enjoy this for a minute. Okay. <laughs> Good, I need a little bit of a yeah, last sure, dude, man. thanks. Okay, cool. Hop in. Right. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, look, fasten your seatbelt. Okay. Dummy. <laughs> Wait, why am I laughing? That's not funny. Yeah, actually it is. Abandon yourself to God as you understand God. Admit your faults to Him and to your fellows. Clear away the wreckage of your past. Give freely of what you find and join us. We shall be with you in the fellowship of the Spirit, and you will surely meet some of us as you trudge the road to happy destiny. May God bless you and keep you. Until then. 12 Steps. God in Action. Seems simple, right? Stay tuned. Buckle up, it's gonna be wild.